Farrah and Farrah Sports Desk. It's First Coast Sports. Good evening, First Coast. I'm Ashley Gonzalez. Your Jacksonville Sharks have been running that scoreboard up lately. In just three games in June, the Sharks combined 182 points. The organization says the reason they're able to score so much is because of their O-line and D-line. Let me introduce you to Saxonville. Good, there it is. I'm up front, you know, we're leading the lead in sacks. Uh, we all get into the quarterback and Coach Harrell, he, we pride ourselves on getting to the quarterback. Left 50, here we go, first down. Go! When these guys roll up to your field, you're in trouble. Shockey has 10 sacks, I, I got six myself. Gilbert's got seven or eight. Uh, JP's got two safeties. The Sharks are bringing back the Saxonville era, a phrase you may remember. A couple years ago when they were on their playoff run, Clayus Campbell was still there, they had a crazy defensive line. That's when they had Jalen Ramsey, and they had a good season. That's when their defense led them to the playoffs. The Sharks are throwing this on and making it their own. Try to make sure we're felt, make sure quarterbacks know that we're coming in the arena. That ain't gonna be an easy night. Start. <laughs> Trying to show that we hunting out there. That we don't want no prisoners. And the key to shutting down the opponent. We really recruit guys that can get off the ball and, and turn and bend the corner. So get off is a big part of what we do. Being able to get off the ball and, and not be off sides and get off and, and be, be violent. He says a lot of the guys are working in their first year together. And the chemistry is falling into place at the perfect time. A new system this year, new coach, different things, different coaches working together just took time. I think right now we're just we're firing on all cylinders. The Sharks begin postseason August 5th and hey, they're not too far from kickoff against the Predators tonight at 7. And 